Well, hey, baseball fans. Welcome to what is a wet start to an 8U coach pitch game today between the Braves in the red and white uniforms against the Yankees, the home team out in the field in the pinstripes, white on white. Braves are coached by Cardwell. Out on the mound is the pitching duty coming from him. Leadoff batter number 11, Ryan, and he can really slug it. Next pitch on its way, and another big, huge cut. And early on in the bat here, he's got a couple strikes on him. Rain falling, so it's wet out there today. And this time it's foul right back towards the camera, rattles the fence. And the batter staying alive here to see another opportunity. And he'll watch this next pitch come in. Braves coming off their first win of the season. Last game, trying to ride that wave. And 11 finds it this time and puts it into the field, runs through the base like he's coached. And a single aboard for the Braves. Next batter, left-hander, number eight, Luke. And he is close to the plate where he likes it and it seems to work for him there. He hits it towards the pitcher and pitcher goes towards one, hits the batter with the ball. It's gonna send the second base runner on and he's okay. In fact, he's coming all the way home now and the runner will advance two. It's an RBI double for the number two hole man, Luke. And now he's going three. And this is the nature of the pass ball at this age, at any age, but we see it a lot here, and it certainly works out for that Braves offense this time as the rain begins to pick up the number three batter, Matthew, who is a slugger in his own right, the right-hander, steps into the box and pitches low and in front of his feet, so he wisely lets this one go. And certainly a bit of a distraction for all players when the rain's falling like it is here. And Matthew thought about that one but decided better on it. He's got three pitches left. Each player, of course, gets five. And decides to have all his swings available. This one's over the plate. He swings it over the infield, drops behind second base, RBIs the run for the second score of the inning. And Matthew holds it one, but a good offensive output for the number three hole as number seven, Aiden, the right-hander, climbs in the box. And the rain maybe even turning into some hail here, not letting up. And seven takes a cut, fouls it over his left shoulder. And now with a little bit of a delay, the rain is given us a bit of respite as Aiden takes his second swing. This time, no dice on the ball, strike two, and he's got another strike to live by here, but can't find it. And the first strike out of the game on the books. Number five, Micah, batting fifth, right-hander. Got a guy on one, he finds it, fouls it back and rattles the fence yet again. Plays can be made at one or two for the Yankees go, in the go, field. Go. This time it's hit high, sailing in foul territory. Saw that defense moving over there to see if they couldn't make a play, but it drops before they do, and Micah still alive at the plate. And next pitch, a strike. And I believe he has struck out. Two outs, both strikeouts. Ricky, number nine, the right-hander. Steps back, decides to let the inside pitch go by. And looking to still get Matthew around, who's been on the corner at one. This time, Ricky swings, finds it. Another foul back towards the camera. Seeing already a bunch of balls come right back towards us. And these batters are really close, that means. Next pitch, underway. Ricky finds it this time, down third base and it looked like it was fouled by just a hair. Wanted to try to climb down that baseline and stay fair, but just wouldn't do it. And Ricky in the box for the next pitch. Finds it this time, and looks like it's fouling to the right behind first base again, so he's all over it. Just trying to straighten it out and add to the lead total here in the top of the first. 
next pitch is inside low and it was a fifth pitch must swing situation it's gotten many a players out here at the Manchac complex three hits two runs one guy left on as we go to the bottom of the first Yankees number one Ethan up to bat first he's a left-hander Yankees coached by coach Chacon and have two wins so far on the season here Strike one, strike two now, both swinging. Stay right there. Number one Don't moving move. his Stay. feet probably more than he could be. Next pitch across the plate, and he decides to stay alive a bit longer, so watches that one. And then lunges for the ball, can't find it. And still alive at the bat. You ready, guys? Got a swing here, and does, and finds it right up the alley, second base, going to have a chance to play, fields it clean, throw not in time, and Ethan safe aboard one for the Yankees leadoff. Number two batter, Chase, wearing number three, takes a swing, foul just left of the third base Ryan. line. A little early, perhaps, on the Get cut, this way, Ryan. but hungry and aggressive nonetheless. And this one fouled back over his head as well. Sun trying to peek out now after one that step, mean start of weather. Heard even some hail on the dugout roof. And number three finds it this time. Sends one down third base. Runner was pausing for a second. And I believe the tag is made. Maybe maybe stepped on the base. Nevertheless, the out at second happens for the Braves. And it's a single, a good-looking hit. There by number three, Chase. 11, JJ, the three-hole batter, takes a swing and a step in that order at the ball and can't find it for strike one. Next pitch, I believe he went around. And you hear the umpire Daniel holler strike. So he's got two on him now. Tried to cut swing it, but couldn't pull it off in time. This time it's live and fair down third base, which has been a hot spot for those Yankees. Throw into second, but not in time. Both runners safe on one and two. And the Yankees trying to climb back in to the 2 nothing lead. The Braves left them at the top of the first. Next batter, Chris, number eight, batting in the cleanup spot. And... Can't find it on the first pitch. Measures up. Alive for pitch number two. And finds it this time. Pops it up. And it drops fair for a minute and then rolls foul. So he'll come back. And it had a lot of English on it to be spinning like it did. And couldn't find the next pitch. And the third strike is an out. And the Yankees have two outs against them now. Next pitch for the five-hole batter, Jacob, number nine, is watched. You can see all these Yankees players measuring up. They've been coached to do it. Number nine finds it that time right towards third base, knocks it down with his glove, just has to step on the bag for the out. And he does, and the Braves' defense shutting out the Yankees in the first inning. Two-nothing lead after three hits and two guys left on for the Yankees. Number three, Porter. Batting in the seven spot, the right-hander. Looks at coach as he swings it. Got to watch that ball back if you want to make contact with it. Otherwise, it's called luck, and you can't depend on that. Outside pitch, watched by Porter. Porter, of course, the namesake of a Texas Longhorn batter right now who's hitting everything for the Longhorns if you follow college baseball or an Austin fan. Strike two now on the batter. As he go, fouls go, that go, one back, go, go. but he finds this one. Grounder to second base, fielded by the Yankees clean, but not in time. As Porter, safe on one for the Braves. Guy on the corner here, first base. And it's Ethan, number 10, in the box. Oh, this way, this way. And nearly found it that time. Couldn't tell if he tipped it or not. Nevertheless, strike one. Good eye. And Good this eye, one's buddy. outside, watched by Ethan, so a good decision there. As he hits the plate, takes a practice swing, next pitch. Go, and he go, finds go. it that time right up the alley, gets past pitcher. Play can be made at second for the force. And I believe they get him 
It was close, but he trots off the field, and the Yankees have their first out in the form of a force at second, but they've got a guy on one as Logan, number one, up at the plate. Takes a swing at the first one. And sometimes that first pitch, first swing strike gets you in the groove, but couldn't find it there on the second swing. And here with three pitches to go, Logan's got two strikes. Next pitch, a good one across the plate, but Logan decides to watch it, which you can't blame him on that third strike. Here in the coach pitch level, you don't have to protect like you do in kid pitch. And he finds it that time right back at pitcher. And no play made by the Yankees. Perhaps had second base charged the ball, he might have had a chance to throw it either at second for the force or at one, but doesn't, and runners on one and two for the Braves as Lucas, number six, steps up. Couldn't find it on the first swing. And second swing, same result, still looking back at coach. They'll coach him up and say, watch that ball back and put a little oomph behind that swing. Third pitch, no dice, and a strikeout on the card, two outs. Now for the Braves. And number 11, Ryan, the leadoff, back up. And decides to let this one be watched as it comes on by his chest. Still 2 nothing here in the top of two. And perhaps a bit outside. And when you've got five pitches, you might as well pick the best one and not waste any time with the others. And that's... Nearly a connection there. Number 11, Ryan fouls this one back. And he's got a strike now. He's got Lucas, or Logan rather, on one. Finds it that time up the alley, shortstop. Gonna try to do something with it, but can't in time. And an RBI now. They're trying to send Logan on to three, but he's not going, and so the batter will stay at one. Guys at one and two with the one run scored at the at bat. Number eight, Luke, who had an RBI triple in that first inning, hits it there right towards shortstop. And no runner coming in, loads the bases as number 12, Matthew. Who you want up in a situation like this, steps to the plate and finds it there. Big shot out of the infield. Over third base, RBI is the runner from three. Matthew rounding one, headed to two, scores another run. Braves adding to their total. Here comes a third score. Six now on the card as Matthew gets all the way to three. How about the offensive showing from number 12? A big offensive hit. And the Braves cruising now with a six nothing lead. Number seven, Aiden, in the four hole. Back up for his second time today. And drops his hand, swings heavy at the ball. Tips it back just over catcher's head for strike one. Big shot from Matthew with two outs. And so the Braves saying in the nick of time, we're gonna add to the total here. Goes down to the basement for the hit, right at first. Has a chance to beat the runner and does, and ends the inning. Unlucky there for the Braves, just went right to where first was standing. Six nothing one, six hits, four runs, one guy left on as we go to the bottom of the second now. Strike one swinging from number five, Carson. He's batting in the sixth spot for the Yanks. Still looking for their first run of the day. And a good shot there, but a little late perhaps on the swing. Fouls it over to the first base dugout for Carson. Got another pitch coming here. Takes this one as well, right back towards pitcher. And the ball's knocked down, but not picked up in time to make the throw at one. And the Yankees have a base hit. Good try. Number 12, Liam, the right-hander. Up for the second time today. And hits this one, I say second time, it's actually his first at bat. They hadn't got through their lineup yet. And the foul ball will bring him back to the plate. And finds it again, this time straightens it out enough. Gets out of the infield. No, it doesn't shortstop, picked it up before it got to the grass. But couldn't get either runner and a single for the batter. Number 10, Eli, with two guys on. 
up at the plate. Right-hander decides to take a swing at the first one, and no luck connecting with the ball, so strike one. Pitch number two, same result as the first, and an early couple of strikes here at the at-bat for number 10. Good-looking throws, I might add, from catcher on the Braves, and it's making the pitches go faster as the batter strikes out there for the first out of the inning. And a big pop up there, and a catch made by the third baseman for the pop out. Runners got to go back and tag, and they do. Second baseman knew not, or runner rather, knew not to run into the out, but a good looking defensive effort there by that Braves defense. Number four, Nolan. Or excuse me, it's six, Isaac. Nolan was the batter who just popped out. Takes a swing at the first one. And no luck there, but finds the second one, and it's bunt style. Pitcher has to charge it to get it, and a short throw, but um, out nonetheless, it looks like. Daniel saying change the inning out, but perhaps we'll have a little discussion here about it. As it turns out, they're going to say that the ball was dropped at first, and the base runner is alive on the base still. And so number seven, Rixton, the left-hander, steps up for his turn at the plate today. I didn't see him not catch it. Strike one, pulled the head out. That's a common mistake that batters even at ages older than this make. Hard to watch that ball back. Looked like a little better effort by him that time, but still couldn't find the ball with the bat. And the Braves just one strike away from getting out of the inning. And there it is, and that'll end it. In the bottom of two, that is. Still a 6-0 advantage for the Braves as we go to the top of the third. Number five, Micah, due up in the order here. And swings at the first one. Got to watch that ball back. Hard to hit what you can't see. And that's what's so fun about this age is that they make such fast progress. That one off the nearly the hands, it looked like. Low, low on the barrel. Foul. And Micah's got two strikes. But this time he hits it. And how about that shot? Third base knocks it down, but couldn't field it clean. And so Micah's got himself a base hit single. Let's go, Let's go, Ricky. Number nine, Ricky. And finds this one on a first pitch hit. Pitcher dives for it. It gets through him to shortstop, and runners get to one and two, safe and sound for that Braves offense that has been putting on a show today as the sun is in full form now. Number three, Porter, watches this one. And an outside pitch means it was a good idea to watch it. And takes a swing at the second one for strike two. And so now is a good time to be awful choosy. Porter loads up and can't find it on the third strike. Batters out, and the Yankees have one down. Ethan, number 10, watches the first pitch come in and can't blame him ever for trying to get a, a feel for speed. Outside pitch, another good one to lay off of. Or excuse me, I missed a pitch in there and batter strikes out looking. That was a last pitch situation. And those are hard to understand. Number 10, Ethan swings a monster sized swing. Couldn't find it, but if he had, it had gone soaring. And he does that time and it does. Right to shortstop, a good ground made. And trying to get the out at two, races towards the bag. And I can't see Daniel's call yet to know. In fact, the Braves inquiring, was he out, was he safe? Looks like he was out, so runners on the corners for the Braves. And the Yankees have two outs, trying to hold this lead down if they can, as number one, Logan, back up at the plate, fouls one back. Good try. Logan singled at his first at bat, so he's one for one today. And he steps back out of the box as he swings at that one, got a step back towards pitcher, and couldn't find it, so he's got a second strike. Watches the next pitch go by and still alive for another one here comes the pitch and swings and strikes out 
And so two strikeouts plus a force ends the inning here. Three hits, no runs, two guys left on for the Braves as we go to the bottom of three. Number two, Ethan, the right-hander up at the plate. And this is the final Yankees first at bat batter. Due up on deck is, of course, the, the leadoff. And no luck for number two as he has another strike, resulting in a strikeout as Ethan, the leadoff, climbs into the box. One pitch, one hit, out of the infield, over the outfield, and number one, not going two, decides to come back to one. Now he's going two, and he'll likely beat the play. He does, he's safe on two, but could have easily gone three. Not sure if coach brought him back or if that was a player decision. Cost him perhaps a base, but nonetheless, a guy in scoring position for the Yankees. Number three, a big shot there by Chase, and it drops fair. Middle round, the bases. He's gonna make it to two, and here comes the RBI, and the Yankees are on the board for the first time today here in the bottom of three. Number 11, JJ, the right-hander, up at the plate, and swings and loses the bat. In the All-Star division, they may call an out for that if that bat comes free. If it's an accident, the umpire may give him some grace. If it looks like it was just on purpose to throw the bat, they sometimes call him out. He watches the next pitch. And so pitch number three coming in with one strike on the batter. And he finds it that time. Popped up, close to being caught, but drops just behind short. And he's safe on one. The runner comes home for the second score of the inning for the Yankees. And the offense for the men in stripes showing some stuff. Number eight, Chris, back up again. And swings at this one, can't find it. Struck out his first at bat. Looking to better that mark this time if he can. Hits it this time. And it drops. Braves trying to make a play but can't get the out. And guys on one and two for the Yankees loading up the bases. Not loading them, but have a 50% base occupation anyway. Number nine, Jacob. Finds this one, but foul. Hits the fence, heard it rattle. And that cage, that fence has taken a bit of a beating in this game today. These guys have fouled their share back. And here's another one right on cue. Nearly hits the glass of the screen. My word. Number nine, close. Seeing if he can find it this time. And foul tips it. That was a strike. Would have been a strike three had he not tipped it, but he stays alive with it. Measures up. You ready, Porter? And hits it this time. Right in the gap between third and short. Third comes over. Trying to make the tag. And don't know that he got there or not. <laughs> Number five puts it down and it stays fair. How about that? Now that runs. You're going to RBI the third base guy, the second baseman, and perhaps the first baseman as well. A triple. He's going back to second now, and they're trying to chase him. Now the run's going to come home. So it'll go down as a three-run RBI double. Not sure if he came out of the base path or not. Arching that back, trying to dodge the tag, does. And the Yankees have a five-run rule and climbing within a run back into this one as we head to the top of four. Number six, Lucas, who had a shot. His last at bat and finds the ball there, foul. Back up at the plate. And finds it again this time. Lucas to pitcher. And thrown out at first. Excuse me, Lu Lucas struck out his first at bat, thrown out here at first at this one. But he's improving and trending the right direction as the leadoff, number 11, steps into the box for the third time today. And just one pitch is all he needs to put this one in play. And it gets all the way to the outfield. Infield couldn't handle it. And number 11, aboard one for the Braves. And now he's going to go two as they threw the ball in. Time was never called. Now the pass ball again. And he'll go three. And the... Evil passed ball strikes again against the Yankees 
as the leadoff. Has a triple. Mike could have gone home. They'll hold him there at three. And a big output for the leadoff. Number eight, Luke. The left-hander decides to let this one come on past. Pitch number get two, high, eye. and he watches get it. Get right on your fence. And good judgment prevailing here for the batter. Get your feet set, get your feet set. Loading up, next pitch, inside, steps back. There's no bases given for hit by pitches, so these guys say, that hurts, I'm getting out of the way, can't blame him for that. Takes this one, big shot, foul. Hey, leave it up there, Sometimes it's hard to see where that ball's going when you see the contact made right away, but it climbs its way back. And this one is hit at the top of the ball, so he fouls one back from the bottom of the baseball, fouls one back from the top, just needs to find the center on this one. And he does, and it's right back at Pitcher. Pitcher making a good play, and it was close. But how about that? I think he gets safe as he knocks the run in. Good job, guys. And so Matthew back up at the plate today. And one pitch for him is all he needs to put this one out into the outfield down third base line. Runners advancing. Matthew's at two. Here comes the throw home. And because it did, it'll hold the runner at three. A double for Matthew as he continues to show some stuff. Number seven, Aiden, back up again, third time today. Right-hander. Swings at this one, misses perhaps underneath the ball. And strike one on the batter as he prepares for the second pitch. This time he finds it following suit of Matthew just before him, follows the same base or, or ball path rather. RBI's eight, here comes Matthew home. Two runs scored as Aiden's safe on two and now is gonna go three. And a big play there for the Braves offense as Aiden comes through in the clutch. Number five, Micah swings at the first one. Right-hander couldn't find it on the second one and he's got two early strikes. And looking at the field, it's hard to imagine that it was hailing just a little bit ago. And he hangs as he fouls backwards there. Next pitch, found, go, 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 go. and foul, hit fair first, and again, that spin on the ball rolled it right out of play. <clears throat> Nearly had an RBI, but that one comes back. And this one, same result, so he's close, maybe a little late, but all that contact likely means a hit, and that time it is gonna stay fair. How about that? It wanted to go foul, the run comes in. A nice slide with a hand slap on the base to score the run making it 10. <laughs> Ricky, number nine, yeah. right down first base, put some power behind that ball, couldn't be handled, and Ricky didn't make it, didn't run through the base. He had the advantage by the hard shot, first baseman couldn't handle it, but didn't run through, had to slow down, that means, and the out was made. Out. Two down for the Yankees, five run advantage for the Braves, as number three, Porter, back up at the plate. Strike one, swinging. Next pitch, he hit. Just the left of pitcher, fumbling with a little bit, looks to three first, never makes the throw. Wouldn't have been a force anyway, would have been have to be in a tag situation, but his momentum was taking him that way, and so that was probably the right way to look. Guys on the corners for the Braves, has Ethan up to bat. Hits it this time, right to third base. Third base gonna try to make the play at second. Doesn't either catch it or had the foot on the base. It looked like it might have been caught. Scores the run and ends the inning on the run rule. So a nice little inning walk off, we'll call it, for Ethan. And the Yankees, number 12, back up at the plate, trying to make up six runs. Gonna be tough to do without a big offensive production here play for an hour and 15 minutes, and so you're up against the clock as well, whether or not the umpire will start another inning. And number 12 couldn't find it. That's Liam, and he strikes out to start the inning. Next batter, number 10, Eli. 
Takes a cut at the first one, and it's a swinging strike as well. Next pitch found. First base making a good maneuver with his feet to get that ball. Can't catch it clean, but it doesn't matter because he gets it on the second effort and has the sprint to the bag for the second out in a row. Number four, big hit there, line drive. Drops right in front of shortstop, trying to make the throw, and it's pass ball. So Nolan will go on to two. And he'll pause there as Isaac, number six, on deck, climbs into the box to see if they can continue with the offensive production they had their last time. Number six clipped it, I think, and it's a strike on him. So Yankees with two outs, needing to find some magic here with the bats. Next pitch underway, hit, first base, got it, no problem, and he grounds out, and that is three outs, six run advantage, one hit, no run scored, and one guy stranded for the Yankees as we go to the top of five. The number nine hole batter, Logan, number one, up at the plate again, hits it, and it's a dribbler to first base. Nobody's covering there in time, so he's safe on one. Second base, knew to come over, but didn't sprint to come over, and so he wasn't there in time, therefore no play made. Guy on one for the Braves. And now coach is gonna have a, a chat with number six, Lucas, batting at, the bottom, batting at the bottom of the order, rather, who had a hit last at bat, got thrown out at one. And so a little pep talk here from Coach. And pitch on its way. Swinging strike. Never had the bat far enough. And same result there. You can see where that bat's coming across and where that ball's coming across. They're just not congruent in their depth. Next pitch. And how about that? A shot from six. Just the left side of pitcher. He's going to try to make the play at two. Doesn't. Lucas safe on one with a base hit. How about number six coming through, folks? And guys on the bases now for the Braves as they threaten to add to their lead. Number 11, Ryan, the leadoff, back up again for the fourth time today. Scoots back to let this one come on past. And Ryan has been an offensive powerhouse leading off for the Braves' order all game long today. And a shot there is going to continue perhaps where he left off. It drops. No out made. It's going to send guys around the bases. RBI a run. That's Logan who comes in for the run. And now a pass ball is going to send these guys on. Runners on two and three for the Braves. We call that scoring position. And the muscles of the guys in red flexing now. Number eight with a powerhouse shot. That's Luke. Drives this one in. Lucas scores, and runners on the corners for the Braves. No outs, and time now getting close to being up. Matthew, number 12, a big hitter, batting in that three spot, watches the first one go by, steps out of the box, and then steps back in. You see a lot of batters who have a lot of experience do that a big shot first, there but it looks first. like the direction he's looking that's foul and it'll put the runners back where they started and so matthew go back to the plate and try again 13 5 as the next pitch comes in down low and matthew decided to take a swing at it and then looks skyward as if in disgust with himself for chasing a downstairs pitch next one Outside and high, and he can't find that one either in a rare strikeout for number 12 for the first out of the inning here in the top of the five, fifth. Aiden, number seven, up at the plate. And finds this one. And found the glove of the third baseman, but couldn't make the catch. It scores the run, 14 in total. And that's the ball game. That's how this one wraps up. And how about the Braves on a two-game winning streak to close the regular season? That's the way you want to trend as you're wrapping up a season. They've got the tournament coming up next. Yankees fall to 2-10. and ten. And Cardwell's folks go 2-9 and nine and win it. We'll see you guys next time.